Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to install external APK applications on our Chromecast with Google TV. Normally, nearly all applications will be available in our Chromecast Google Store. But if you ever want to download an APK application that's not in the official App Store, you can also do it. The first thing we have to do is go to the right of everything on the top bar to the settings wheel. And once we're in the quick settings, click on it to access the complete settings. In this menu, we need to go down to the system section. Within system, we have to enter the information section. And here we need to scroll down until we find the section indicating Android TV operating system compilation. Usually, it's the one at the very bottom. Once we're on this option, what we need to do is grab the Chromecast remote and insistently press the center button. That is, as if we wanted to enter the section, but we couldn't. We pressed it several times. Now you'll see, and after a few times, it tells us that developer options are now activated. It would have been about five, six, or seven times. We pressed several times, and now, as you can see, it doesn't do anything anymore because we are developers already. Once this is done, we go back and in the system section, if we go down, we'll see that a new section called developer options has been activated. Even though we don't actually need to enter this section, it's just for you to see that they've been activated. Once this is done, we can go straight to the main screen and we'll have to go to applications since we're going to have to download an app. We go to search for apps and games and we're going to download an application called Downloader. So as you see it, you click on the search magnifying glass and there it is. This one, okay? You need to download the first one. This one that says Downloader with a white arrow and an orange background, not this one. You need to download that one. So you tap on it. It's a normal installation, okay? It's not going to ask you for anything strange. It's an application that you can find on Google Play, okay? Here we are not downloading anything external. We tap on install and we are going to install this application. Once you have it installed, tap on open. Once you open it, the first thing that appears is a pop-up window that asks for permission for downloader to access your files. It is important to tap allow here because this application is going to download and install the APK. So if we don't allow it access to our files, when we try to install an external APK, it will give us an error because it won't have access to be able to perform the installation. So it's super important so that you don't have any mistakes. Tap allow. This is a breeze. Just press OK. And this is the downloader main screen. Once we're on the downloader main screen, we need to go left to the browser section. When you click, you'll see a kind of normal internet browser come up. What we need to do is go to the top bar, which would be a search bar, and here write the next address you're going to see. www.appmirror.com Once you've entered it, click on the arrow and the browser will go to that web page. Here, click on Accept and you've reached the main page of appmirror.com. This is where we're going to download APK apps. To do searches, we have to go here on the right to the little magnifying glass. If you click on it, you'll see how another search box opens in which you should write the app you want to download. First of all, let me tell you that obviously not all apps in the world are going to be available here. There will be some apps available and some not. But always remember, your search should always include the words Android TV in brackets. Let me give an example. Suppose you want to download the Max app, which isn't yet available here in Spain. But imagine you want to download it as it's expected to replace HBO Max, and you want it now on your Chromecast. You would need to type the app's name, in this case Max, followed by a space. And as I just mentioned, always include Android TV in brackets. So it should look like this. Firstly, the name of the app, in this case, as I'm saying Max. But if you want another, then any other that you're looking for, followed by space and then in parenthesis, Android TV. Why is this important? 
because if you install an app that's not compatible with the Android TV system, the remote won't function correctly and the app will become practically useless. It's critical that the app you download, the APK, is compatible with Android TV systems and that it has integrated the use of the remote so as to function without any kind of problem. I repeat, you can download the apps without this specification, but you run the risk of them not working for you because the remote isn't compatible with the app's usage. Once it's like this, let's click on the forward arrow to perform the search. As you can see, we appear on a screen practically the same as the previous one, but if we keep scrolling down, you'll see how it's been finding applications for us. In this case, this is the one we want. Max, not HBO Max, just Max. And you can see it's the option for Android TV and it's version 36056. Now at this point, when we found the app we want, we go all the way to the right and click on the little arrow. If any ads pop up, you simply have to close them and that's it. And as you can see, we're already on the page, but within the application, we keep scrolling down and down and down. Go through all this until you find it here, where it says download APK. You have to look for this box here. That's the right one. It's the download one, okay? If you keep scrolling down, as you can see, there are more versions, but oh well. Actually, if we scroll up, this is the latest version, okay? The one we've put above. Once you find this download box, we're going to just click on it without us doing anything else. As you can see, the application download is already starting. We're going to wait a bit for it to finish. Once it is done, as you can see, without pressing anything, these windows pop up until we get this one, which says that for your safety, at the moment, your TV can install unknown applications you can change this in the settings. So we're going to go directly to change this now. We click on settings here. And as you can see below, we authorize downloader to install external applications. The box pops up again. You only need to do this once, okay? Authorizing downloader once is enough. Now we're going to install. And as you can see, Max is now installing. And as you can see, when it finishes, the application is installed and ready to use. Now we're going to click on Done. Now let's go back. And as you can see, since the application is already installed, now I recommend that you click on Delete. Why? Because in this way, we are going to delete the APK file that has been installed and we will not generate garbage of applications that are already installed. We can delete the installation file now. So we click here to delete it. We delete it. Here, we don't need to do anything else unless we want to look for another application. We can now go back to the main menu, and as you can see, the Max application that we have just installed externally appears here. We did not install it through Google Play. Click on it to open it, and as you will see, the application works without any problems. As I mentioned before, Max is not yet available in my region, so it says this is unexplored territory, that it is not yet available. But this was just an example so that you can see that any application can be installed this way. From this moment on, you are free to do your research and download the applications that you find using Downloader. Well guys, that is all for this video. As always, I hope that I was able to help you. If so, don't forget to leave me a good like, which is super important and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you don't miss anything. As for me, that is all. As always, it was a pleasure and I will see you in the next video.